What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, I'm going to talk about the game Art of Tiny, which was released in the arcade and then later ported to Neo Geo, AES, Neo Geo, CD, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and PC Engine CD by SNK. Now, pretty much the part of the game is that Mr. Big, um, Pretty much kidnapped Yuri, um, who is the sister of Ryu Saka, Saki, and um, pretty much trying to lure him into his like gang and stuff like that. And pretty much uh, Ryu um, asked uh, his friend Robert Garcia to help him out to rescue his sister and stuff. Now, there's pretty much uh, four modes in the game, which are um, the one player story mode, one player versus uh, computer mode and one player versus two player mode along with the options now um in the one player story mode you can you pretty much either play as um uh, Ryu or Robert and you pretty much fight against um other characters in the game to try to find out where uh, Mr. Big is keeping um Yuri and stuff like that and the characters that you fight against are um Ryu Haku, Jack Turner, Lay P. Long, um, King, Mickey Rogers, Jack Crowley, and Mr. Big, and um, Mr. Karate. And um, pretty much after you um, beat two characters, there's three uh, specific um, bonus games that you can partake in a bottle cut, ice pillar smash, and the initiate, initiate super death blow. Now, the, which all of them have their own specific goals where um, the goal of uh, bottle cut is to cut off the top of the of five bottles that's on the table and with ice pillar smash you have to build up enough energy to uh, smash um, like five thick, five thick ice blocks and with the um, initial uh, super death blow you pretty much have to use the um, uh, pretty much a um, projectile against the um, characters in the game within a specific time limit based on the difficulty that you pick and everything. Now, um, and one thing about the um, last um, uh, bonus game, if you succeed in um, completing it, you can't um, pick, pick it a second time and stuff. Now, in the um, one player versus computer mode, you pretty much fight against um the computer where you can pick um any two of the ten um playable characters in the game and you know what I'm saying. And um in one player versus two player mode it's pretty much the co op mode and it's pretty much the same as the um one player versus computer where you but you can fight against another um player and stuff with the um ten with the ten playable characters and stuff. Now with the options you can pretty much change the difficulty from one to eight. Of course, uh, one is represents the easiest difficulty, while eight is the hardest difficulty and stuff. Then uh, also the time limit where you can pick. I would say thirty seconds, sixty seconds, ninety nine seconds, or um, or have unlimited time time limit stuff like that. Then you can change the um, button configuration and the, uh, pretty much the sign mode stuff like that. Now, the graphics and design for Art of Finder are pretty good with some nice color palettes and stuff. Now, the controls and gameplay are good. For, but, um, the special moves can be difficult to pull off at times and stuff like that. Now, the soundtrack is pretty decent, but it's not as good as the, um, Street Fighter 2 soundtrack and stuff. Now, I will be honest enough to say that the major, um, Gripes with art of fighting are the are the lack of of originality with the plot, and that's the fact that um the replay value is on the low side. Plus the um one player story mode along with the one player versus computer mode are range between hard and unplayable on the higher difficulties mainly. If you choose between difficult between difficulty number four and difficulty number eight, you know what I'm saying, being having the the hardest difficulty practically unplayable and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying. 
and I'll be honest enough to say that um, Art of Fighting is a decent um, game that has a limited appeal. You know what I'm saying? Only I think the only the most hardcore um, fans of the fighting genre will, will, will pretty much play um, Art of Fighting and stuff. Now, as far as the score, I definitely give Art of Fighting a six out. Six out of ten, you know what I'm saying? Mainly because of, the, like I mentioned, the difficulty, the low replay value, and all that. Now, with that being said, you can um, sound off in the comment section about Art of Fighting. Do you uh, like it? You know what I'm saying? Are you pretty much a fan of the of the series and stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? Now, if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. This is your boy, Big Metro Fan 12, signing off.